Well, hey guys, here we are. It's a nice, beautiful, sunny day, and we're at the potato plot. We're just starting to see the first sarcomere of potatoes poking through outside. One there, one a little bit further up, just in the sort of centre of the screen. One a little bit further up that way as well. Um, not these are about a fortnight, three weeks, maybe even a four weeks further on than these here because uh, we've got these in uh, well early ish um, and then we got some really bad weather and we couldn't get on with this piece um, so these have only been in uh, maybe a fortnight um, so we're not expecting anything and they're pretty ridged up these as well so they're going to be uh, a little bit to, to come uh, we decided not to uh, pull the the soil back over from where the chickens uh, scratted all over it. I'm um, just going to leave that. Wait till they start poking through, and then we'll we'll earth them back up. But uh, we've got the. Uh, I don't know this what we get. There's some good showing on some peas now. Um, these are the purple variety type ones and they're flying like that's what we're flying i'm gonna get the wire up for these today uh sugar snap ones not so well we put a full packet in there and they're uh, really sporadic sporadic um germinated though the chickens did scratch some up but i wouldn't have thought they'd have scratched that many up to be honest so it's not so bad we'll still get a fairly good crop off of those We've got these peas here in. We've got some more there. We've got more in trays and pots just over there. We've got some peas in these pallet ends as well. And we've got another load of peas in the uh, polytunnel to sow um, in uh, successions. So, uh, yeah, that's the. Uh, oh, there's a pea coming through. Oh, there we go. So we've got the first show in the Sarpo mirrors out here. And we've got everything, brassicas, flowers, more brassicas over here, uh, more flowers, more kale, runner beans, marigolds, sunflowers, beetroot, more flowers, all sort of hardening off. Um, starting to get a little bit of tidying in here done now. We've got two bags of uh, red Duke of York or Duke of York, and two bags of Charlotte, two tumbling toms, my giant Kelsey onions coming on really well now. Lettuce, we're going to be planting some of that later. More lettuce, some Roma toms, melons. Dwarf beans, uh, sweet corn there, strawberries, some radish, a nettle, uh, some experimental seeds that we got, uh, tomatoes again, seed packets, plants, more tomatoes, Superman and. Uh, Cucumbers, Atlantic Giant um, pumpkins, carrots, a few peppers, some more flowers, um, there was, on bonfire heap, there's one on there though, there's one on there with a the hotel hole in it. Pretty much 100% uh, popping on these tomato uh, potatoes out here. Every bag has got a potato coming through. So that's good. So that's all 22 bags that we planted with potatoes. I still haven't got round to sorting that, but we have made a start on finishing the... Um, Brassica tunnel, fruit trees, we've got a cherry tree over there that's absolutely laden, 
apple tree is really coming into bud now so we could do good with the apples again we might not do so well with the plum tree this year because we had to cut it back we had to really cut it back really hard this year uh, at the wind in the winter and uh, it got um okay um a little bit like um I don't know what it what it was, but uh, down the centre was starting to die off, and the tips that were, you know, up here, well up here, were uh, dying back. So we cut them back right back to a, a, a decent bud, and we managed to save it. So um, we don't know what was going on there, but we'll see if we get any. If we get a few plums, we get a few plums. I'm not too fussed, but uh, we'll probably get a few more next year. So black currants are doing a really good show. We should get some decent black currants off of them this year. We didn't prune them back. And you see the apple tree. Absolutely chocker again. We've got uh, flowers on the red gooseberries over there as well. As you can see, chocker on the cherry tree. None on this cherry tree at the moment. Wasn't expecting there to be. I only transplanted it last year, so uh, nothing on our new cherry tree. Nothing on there. Again, wasn't really expecting it to, but it might be a later season one. I don't remember the name, Morello, I think it is. Nothing on the pear tree. Autumn raspberries, putting on some show now. And this gooseberry here, we actually saved that from uh, in a wall. So. I'm going to have a few gooseberries. Chickens are all doing well. Let's, uh, let's put these eggs in this thing here so I can take you up the garden and show you the other bits and bobs. On seven minutes. We're doing okay at the moment. We're averaging about between 10 and 12 eggs a day off the chickens. Uh, that's not too bad. I've got some more bits here. Peas, sunflowers, marigolds. Starting to harden stuff off. The last of the cabbages and the giant, the uh, elephant garlic. It's starting to... We've got a double onion there for some reason. That's a decent cabbage. We're having that for dinner today. So, this area is starting to take shape now. We're hoping to use it as maybe as a bit of a staging area and we'll build some uh, frame up, board it up and have it as uh, uh, somewhere just to stand plants or whatever. Uh, shed. Ferrets are okay. Just do you show you the chicks. There they are. These are the brazy chicks. Uh, they're doing good. Uh, hopefully got some more chicks coming soon. Tulips have done a really good show. Flowers this year. This is the wire for the peas. Really beautiful heads on these primulas and that now. Look at them. Absolutely spot on. Marigolds, old English marigolds. I'm going to save the seeds from those to sow for next year. Wheelbarrow's doing good. And sorting pots out. Come around this way. We're in a bit of a shady bit now. But, uh, all the strawberries have taken in the bags. And pots and tubs and things. Got some more sweet peas, some more plants. Should nearly be. Then here is all the spare anya. I think there's about six or seven anya potatoes, maybe a few more. Um, I dug down a little bit yesterday, um, and they're about hands where it's down, so they're, they're coming through. What we've got um, 
international kidney coming through you can pretty much tell where they're going to come through because they push the soil up above them like a little bit of a mole hill there's some more none in this pot yet but these are maybe a little bit further down than I thought a few weeds but not too fussed about that to pull them little weeds out other one there <coughs> yeah everything's coming coming on good now yeah got the international kidney coming through in my test pots a few weeds again now there's only one seed potato in these I've got three of these pots around one on this side of the house that's my leeks one on this side of the house one here and then one round here this side of the house doesn't really get a lot of um, a lot of sun at all but it does get it in the morning more pallet ends with uh, flowers in these are my surplus uh, giant onions sweet corn a few toms we put out for sale so tulips have done really well for us this year in the pots and things bits and bobs starting to come good out in the front here now We've got a load of more, load more plants. Now this uh, daffodil here has been flowering for about seven weeks now. And it's just starting to die off. This one flowered for maybe a week, a week and a half, two weeks. And this one's nearly seven weeks. That one's, the only thing we can put that one down to different is it's in wood chips. So that's the only difference. And these, uh, Pansies along here have been flowering since September, October last year. We just keep deadheading them and they keep going. They're actually starting to, uh, they're actually starting to spread a little bit. So there we go, guys. Catch you later.